It's time for A Moment in Wine, underwritten by New England Wine Cellars, providing design and expert installation of residential and commercial wine cellars and display systems. 860-824-2400, on the web, newcellars.com. Welcome to A Moment in Wine. It's Fred Chagaskis, and we're tasting wines from around the world. Today, I am so excited to be tasting probably my, well, without a doubt, my favorite white grape variety, and that's Viognier. It's spelled uh, V-I-O-G-N-I-E-R. Viognier is how it's pronounced. And that's found, its it's source is the Conjou area, the little area in the Rhone Valley, France, uh, where it was used by itself in the Conjou area and used as a... um, uh, a blending grape and other rain, rain varieties because of its beautiful floral, peachy, tangerine, and honey nose that it gives. And and uh, when I was first starting to write wine reviews in the 1990s for a wine magazine, there were only 400 acres of Viognier planted in the whole world, uh, most of it in Conjou, France. But since then, it has found a home in South Africa, in Israel, in Australia. New Zealand, uh, and it, here in the United States, uh, there's a great um, Viognier produced by the Norton Vineyards in Virginia, and today we're going to be drinking the Chalk Hill Viognier from Central Coast, Paso Robles, California. So uh, let's put some of this in the glass, uh, and it's a beautiful, just kind of a grassy, gold-colored, maybe just a hint of green in there, very translucent. Um, I should mention that Viognier... Uh, it, depending on the producer, it can be like spritzy, light and bright uh, with tangerine and, and citrus flavors, or it can be creamy and more full bodied and more honey uh, uh, and ripe, ripe peach uh, flavors, depending on how it's handled, the grape variety is handled. Um, difficult to grow, but when you do it right, it is spectacular. Um, already, I'm just swirling the uh, glass here and getting wonderful aromas of maybe a little burnt orange peel, honey, definitely honey, uh, and a sp- spicy, like green, uh, oh, I would call it like a lemon curd uh, smell here. Um, mm. Again, to the lips, I'm getting a nice, uh, nice fruits that's soft, um, honey peach thing going on, a little bit of citrus, uh, uh, in the mid palate, uh, and just a creamy, full bodied, um, uh, re- smile inducing <laughs> finish. Um, good, I really enjoyed this grape. And this is, uh, the Chalk Hill people have, have made a nice medium bodied version of it overall. Uh, one of those things that you would pair with, um, a not too acidic or not too bold meat. Uh, I'm thinking like chicken on a saffron rice would be a nice blend with this, but I've had it also with things like crab and lobster, and it's just been perfect. So this is the uh, 2016 Chalk Hill Viognier. 